In this Shonen Liberty video, we check out what in my opinion are the best longbows in this game. Now depending on your build, obviously, depending on what you are working towards or working around or depending on what you want this for, PvE or PvP, things may differ for you. So me telling you one particular longbow is the best in the game because it's great for what I want, kind of defeats the purpose of what I want from this video. Hence why I bring you three of the best bows I believe will cover all aspects of what people want from long bows within one video. Hopefully you see a choice in which you can then grind and farm for which will help you towards your end game long bow build goal. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. Now I'm away until November 5th, so videos you are seeing from October 20th are all scheduled. But I'm still doing those loosing giveaways. In fact, when I return, I'll pick a multitude of winners and announce them just after the 5th. So you guys want to win? It's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave me a comment down below, make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my Throne and Liberty videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. So good luck everybody. Okay, so whether you are using a longbow with daggers, with a crossbow, with a staff, a wand, etc, etc, you obviously want the best longbow for your build. Now the game is home to quite a few, but my two slash three picks are the true endgame longbows uh, you probably want to be looking at. Now again, players want these for different reasons, and because of the build variety in this game, I really can't recommend just one longbow to you and call it the best, because it may not be for what you want, it may not fit what you want. So I will give you a few different longbows which I believe you should be checking out and you can decide what suits your build best. Some of what these longbows offer massively affect your overall build, which obviously affects what other skills you may be using due to that second weapon. So let's check out these three bowls. But there's a catch here, only two are in the game right now, one I believe is coming soon. Okay, so the two we need to pay attention to, which are in the game right now, in the global release of the game right now, um, these are the Carnix's Neverbowl and the Tublix Deathmark Longbow. The third which we will discuss is called the Tevent's Arc of Wailing Death. Again though, this is not in the game yet. So let's look at the first longbow, the Tublix Deathmark Longbow. So this is a weapon you get from the level 50 co-op dungeon of Tublix, who is the boss of the Tyrant's Isle dungeon. Although it's only like a 5% drop rate chance, I actually got really lucky with this weapon. I mean, I ran it like four times. I got the ball three times and then I got the staff, which is wild. So firstly, this bowl comes with the equipment skill of Tublitz Trick. On critical hit against enemies with less than 25% health, deal an additional 76% of base damage with a 6 second cooldown. Now first reading this, I actually feel like it's a decent skill. For overall damage, I mean it's quite a fitting skill for many builds. But that crit shot is needed to trigger this, so I feel it is going to be less apparent than one might think. And when facing normal mods or other players, I don't think you're probably going to notice this most of the time. So you can also see this has an attack speed of 0.641, uh, which is slower than other balls, but not by much. Depending on how stacks here are in regards to attack speed from elsewhere, although this may seem like a low number uh, to start multiplying with, it definitely equates to a uh, different outcome, even though numbers seem so minute. Now range on this thing is tied highest at the three balls uh, with a range of 19.2 meters on its range stat. Not bad whatsoever. Again range is something people do indeed build around with many skills and passives and so forth. So this is an important stat. Now in regards to the weapons passives here we see it has uh, on a max level this is of an 11.2 cooldown speed this is great for me it's actually why i'm using this at the moment it also gives you nine in that dexterity which we know affects your crit rate attack speed and evasion speed crit rate obviously being massive for many longbow users uh people look to build around this they quite often do we also see it has that wilding bonus damage too, which is probably isn't for most players. Um, and it isn't what I'd choose here, to be honest. I've seen much, much better. So this stat we can completely ignore. Now, in regards to traits, I mean crit hit chance, heavy hit chance, uh, just even hit chance are probably the ones I'd go for. But again, this all depends on what you want from your weapon 
in regards to your build. Okay, so the next bow we're going to look at is the Carnix's Never Bow. And this is one you obtain or have a chance of obtaining from the level 50 co-op dungeon of Death's Abyss. So this is a bow being maxed out offers more total damage than their tubulix. It also has a slightly quicker attack speed, but the range does fall off here with 16 meters. Now its equipment skill is Carnix's Eye, a plus 9% a range for all users and the party members within 16 meters, which seems decent, but 9% of 16 meters is only 1.44. This is a 1.44 increase on 16 meters, which is around 17.5, which is still short of the other two bowls here. So the passives on the Carnix are 11 in strength, which is decent, and 174 in that critical hit chance. Pretty cool. Now I feel if you go with the Carnix here, it makes sense to aim for that 70 dex for max attack speed here with that critical hit chance too and that evasion remember the attack speed affects more or less everything so keep that in mind skills the lot everything acts quicker traits i'd say the same here hit chance heavy attack chance and critical hit chance but again this is down to your personal preferences now out of these two bowls, Tubalexes and Carnix, I feel for more damage you definitely want Carnix especially in pve for more range, cooldown reduction, I'd probably go for Tubelix. Uh, I actually use Tubelixes now, but I'm making my way towards that Carnix due to it fitting what I want more. This range is great for things like PvP and to build around this, but I feel in PvE it's definitely less important. So I want more damage, and I can achieve more damage in PvE with Carnix without a shadow of a doubt. Okay, so my last pick of longbows to share is the Tevent's Arc of Wailing Death. So this, as I make this video, isn't yet in the game, as it comes from Tervent, who is a world boss who only spawns in well once a week. Well, not at the moment, because he isn't a part of Global. Now, this bow, as you can see on the screen now, offers the same range as Tubelix, a faster attack speed than both, and even more damage. Now, its equipment skill is also seemingly decent. Shoots a bonus projectile whenever using strafling, dealing 54% of base damage. So in reality, that's not bad at all considering how often you can proc this skill. It also has 8 perception, which I will add, isn't anything I've considered with my build. It does give you extra dex though, along with a 12.4% attack range increase, which ticks many boxes for many, many players. Traits on this thing, each to their own. Again, I go for hit chance, crit hit chance, and heavy attack chance. Now I won't lie, I really like the look of this bow and what it offers could well work for what I want currently and what I have going on. But because I plan on switching from Tubelix's to Carnix's bow, uh, this is like in the other direction. And because it isn't in the game right now, I can't even consider it. When it does land though, it may be a different story. Now in my opinion, for PvE players here, I believe Carnix's bow is the best. That's just my opinion. PvP where range can be, well, of a benefit to you, I'd probably go with Tubelixes. That's just my opinion. Anyway, yours may completely differ. If it does, let me know down below. But all in all, Carnix is the one I want. It's the one I'm farming for. Well, when I come back from holiday anyway. Guys, let me know your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.